like a genius. And I feel like we're, we're talking about Lunchables, and but we should probably prime the chat and our audience for about Red X, because a lot of people might not know who Red X is. Yes, Red X is the mysterious NorCal guy that happens to show up at nationals all over the place. <laughs> Three, I was talking to Boring Man, another NorCal one, guy, and he's all like, yo, I didn't even know Red X was at this tournament. I'm like from his region. <laughs> but yeah, Red X definitely, he's, he's a Link player, and um, he is... Yeah, I would say like campier than most as far as uh, uh, his use of projectiles and things like that. He's like the essentially what Link and Ocarina of Time was with like the, the C buttons and like having the entire inventory available <laughs> to him. That's Ooh. Red X. Yeah, I think so. Um, I would say he has a pretty good punish game off of projectiles, but I think that also Lunchables playing Toon Link himself knows a lot more item counter. Oh! That would have been into the downer. <laughs> that was into the future. Like he, <laughs> he was, he was throwing that down. Oh my god! Five steps ahead. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And you know, Lunchables is doing like Roy, uh, like a tasty combo weight for most characters. But we saw like twice in this set already. But once with that down air, and another time later on, that when you're falling, you have like even though you're gonna be comboed, just throw out a move. You have a disjoint that you could do to interrupt whatever move they're gonna send out. Oh, oh, nice jump. That was a great jump. Oh! What? what? I guess the crouch <laughs> cancel was just enough. Yeah. And I like that Red X is like confident enough to abuse that kind of like get out of my face, up B. Uh -huh. Not a lot of links do that, especially out of shield or especially within hit stun. Oh, Lunchables tried to like snag the bomb, but he gets double bomb. Such interplay, holy moly. What's happening with the bombs? Oh, they blew up on both sides. This is like a like a crazy concert. And like it's it's nuts because you can tell that Lunchables knows exactly what is happening with these items. Like I feel like any player that's not a, a student of the game, like you mentioned, yeah, would get lost. Oh yeah, I think that if you put like Lunchables, like like although he may get flustered in a tournament nerve sense, he's never flustered in the sense of what is this character doing? Yeah. You know, he knows everything. Like, you, like the other top players, like I would say like Malachi is one of them, he's flustered in a gameplay sense. Like if something unexpected happens, he'll be confused. But I think Lunchables, like he'll be like, oh, okay, I know how to deal with items. I know how to deal with uh, like shenanigans involving like unconventional PM mechanics. Wow, great read. Ooh. And Red X keeping it close, though. Yeah, like, he's actually doing really well, and I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Oh, is this one forward smash combo is going <laughs> to would do it, though. Oh, nice reflect. Oh! Yeah. And I was, I was told earlier by Yono, another Roy player, that you saw that, that we got that third dancing blade into the fourth dancing blade, and you're like, wait a second, that's, like, super weird. But if you do the third one upwards and you hit the tipper, it's actually unteckable, which automatically true combos into the fourth hit, which is a crazy strong kill move. Okay. I'm, I'm watching how Red X is kind of like handling neutral there, and he the, the, the calm and the patience that he was showing, the, the double thinking and uh, applying or thinking about Yomi is kind of gone from his stock. He's completely oh. getting flustered. Yeah. That's a three stock. I think he was keeping it even, and then once, he, once it wasn't even anymore, he just literally did no more damage. Yeah. And I, I feel like we've all been there. <laughs> yeah. We've all been in those, in those situations where like, oh man, I can actually, I can do this, and then Suddenly you're thinking like, what, what just happened? I know, and you're, and you, like sometimes like the worst thing you can do when you're losing is like try to not lose. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when like when you're behind and you're like, I gotta change it up, and that's the one thing that just <laughs> turns into disaster. Yep, stick, stick to the plan. Exactly. Stick to the plan, Red X. Okay. Going back. Three, two, All right, we're sticking to the plan. <laughs> we're sticking, <laughs> we're sticking, to, the, we're sticking to sticking to some kind of plan. I'm glad he listened. Interesting thing about item counterplay that I heard from Thunder is a little bit back, and I think Sosa also said it because you know they they played against Lunchables and they kind of know what to do against this Toon Link, and uh, this will apply to Red X's Link also. Is that when you when a bomb is being thrown at you, the bomb itself when it bounces off of your shield, two things are important. It has no hit lag. So you can instantly wave dash out and not lose any time. Not like another move, like you know, if a if a like a Samus charge shot hits your hits your shield, you have to take that hit lag and you can't do much. Oh, okay. Against bombs, you don't have to. Second thing, when you when you when the bomb bounces off, it actually doesn't have an active hitbox anymore. 
or hurt box. So you can jump into the bomb after it bounces off of your shield and it won't blow up. And this is uh, this applies to bombs, this applies to turnips, this applies to bananas, I guess. Too. Yes, any sort of item in PM. So Lunchables, you know, like, <laughs> he, I, I can be 150% sure he knows that. I mean, he, he certainly knows how to apply some of the, the counterplay. Oh. Yeah, and this is looking, oh. Oh, bad grab. I think he was like, anticipating a shield drop. With a grab as slow as as uh, Lynx, you kind of have to make him reads. My gosh, Lunchables is incredible. <gasps> yeah, he's out of there, sliced. No, everything that Lunchables had to learn about Red X's play and his style, I, I feel like he already picked it up and it just knows what to do. Yeah, oh, <laughs> no matter how much you learn, you're gonna get hit by one of those. Like, he immediately knew that the, the boomerang was going to throw him around, and he just started doing the side B. Lunchables yeah. is nuts. Let's see if Red X can pull out a little bit. Link actually has a deceptively strong punish game. Oh, nice. Gets, gets around that. Oh, nice grab. Lunchable is always so precise. Oh, a little bit of shield damage. Oh, he was expecting him to jump up there with that board smash. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a stock. We might see a double three stock here, but maybe Red X can pull something out. All right, setting up the traps here, and Lunchable's not oh afraid to grab it. Oh my god! That string is nuts! He popped his own bomb! Dude, with the Dacus to start it off, too, what a call out. A 0% Dacus. Okay. I really like... Roy's F tell it's like he's fencing. Yeah, it really does look like that. It's funny because it's actually I think it's actually his animation from FE6, which is the the game that he's from. Oh, going back there. And yes, the good Oh! Choice. That was incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> and he decided to intercept with the up air. Like I, that would have never crossed my mind. Here we go. <sighs> Off stage. Can we see that again? <laughs> no, I, two times. <laughs> two times, please. Can two times, please. Alright. So like, watch this play here. He's gonna go that fencing that you were talking about uh -huh. earlier, and then grabs off, and then decides to pop him up with the up air right. No, wait, not that one. Gets the regrab. That's the one. one. Ah! Oh my god! And just the little tiny momentum shift from the neutral B, you kind of float a little bit, lets him hit the kind of edge of that. But jealous of the production.